No matter what, there's always room for Denzel Washington to tear through bad fellas. So we're thrilled that Robert McCall will put his lethal arsenal to use at least once more when he returns for The Equalizer 3. After previously collaborating on 2001's Training Day, director Antoine Fuqua and actor Denzel Washington reunited for the first time in more than 10 years for the action thriller, The Equalizer. The Washington portrayed Robert McCall in The Equalizer, a retired CIA black ops agent who used his training to help a young woman in escaping the Russian mafia. The Equalizer attracted a large following of admirers who hoped to see Robert return for a sequel thanks to Fuqua's stylistic directing efforts and Washington's compelling performance. Despite a $55 million budget, The Equalizer opened in 2014 to mostly positive reviews and a global total of $192.3 million. Watching the older Washington wipe out enemies in an action movie had an inherent appeal similar to Liam Neeson in the Taken movies. Even with Washington and Antoine Fuqua's reunion, many critics viewed Equalizer 2 as a case of diminishing returns. It was worth considering whether the decrease in word of mouth would have any effect on the box office given how strong it had previously been. Fortunately for Sony, the Equalizer property remains as strong as ever. In its first three days, the Equalizer 2 made $35.8 million in revenue. That amount came out on top in a close race for the top spot and is marginally higher than the original's open haul of $34.1 million unadjusted for inflation. As a reunited actor-director team, Fuqua and Washington were able to recreate a lot of the positive aspects of The Equalizer 2 successfully. Since The Equalizer 2 picks up with Robert having returned to his violent ways, the sequel can hit the ground running, though it slows down in the middle. What else went on in that room? Mac, whatever it is, whatever you need. There's still plenty of brutal action that fans loved about the first movie, Fuqua uses the same technique to highlight Robert's meticulous nature in a fight as he did in The Equalizer, but he doesn't go as far with it as this time. It's unclear what The Equalizer 3 will offer fans of The Equalizer and Denzel Washington's portrayal of Robert, who may have hoped for more adventures, involving the character and his unique set of abilities. How you doing, officer? Just got off a double shift. Just gonna check and see if I left my gas on. Alright, make it quick! We've done some research online to learn as much as we can about McCall's upcoming journey. The production may still be in its early stages, but as McCall puts it, progress, not perfection, is what matters. On September 1st, 2023, The Equalizer 3 will debut, exactly five years after the first sequel, when Washington disclosed that the script for The Equalizer 3 was complete in an interview for its critically acclaimed portrayal of the title role in The Tragedy of Macbeth in January 2022. The buzz surrounding the third installment of the franchise got going. The movie will be Washington's next project to shoot, and principal photography is expected to start this year. The Equalizer 3 will share its predecessor's director, Fuqua, and star, Washington, who will return in the lead role as McCall. Although additional information is still in progress, we do know that you should smash that like button if you haven't done so already. With the addition of Eugenio Mastrandria, Remo Jerome, Sonia Omar, Danielle Perone, Andrea Scarduzio, and Andrea Dodero, Sony has wrapped up the cast of The Equalizer 3. The actors join a cast that is led by Denzel Washington and features Gaia Scodelaro, who has already been announced, and Dakota Fanning, which marks the first time the two actors have worked together since 2004's Man on Fire. It's unlikely that anyone from The Equalizer 1 and 2 will return for the third installment given the series' previous entries, but Ashton Sanders, who plays Miles, the young artist that Robert likes, might return as well. It's gonna be a lot of work, man. Hi, Mr. McCall. All right. Even so, it's still early and nothing is ever truly certain. The 2014 film The Equalizer centers on Robert McCall, a man of enigmatic origins who decided to trade in his violent past for a peaceful present. When he runs in trouble with a Russian criminal gang, he is, however, forced to use his fighting skills. From this point on, he reappears as an Avenger, prepared to kill anyone who enrages the defenseless. But what exactly is his backstory? Fuqua responded when asked what he planned to do with the film, saying, hopefully you reveal a little more about Robert. Yeah, I think that's the key, to learn more about Robert McCall. The Equalizer movies are, by definition, episodic, with each new chapter presenting McCall with a fresh case to solve. As a result, at this early stage of production, it's nearly impossible to predict that the movie might be about. What happens in these hotels is robberies. But she never wore any jewelry. Given that it's safe to assume that McCall will use violence liberally to assist a person who's less fortunate than himself. The only hint provided about The Equalizer 3's plot is that it will take McCall on an international adventure. Principal photography for The Equalizer 3 began on the picturesque Amalfi Coast in Italy on October 10, 2022. The production began filming in the area on November 1st and continued there until November 20th. 
From there, it moved to Naples in early December and finished in Rome in January 2023. Before the Equalizer 3 got the go-ahead, Foucault declared that he wanted to take Denzel Washington's character to Europe. That makes sense given the film was shot in Italy, it's obvious that Foucault and the company are not visiting all those Italian locations to substitute them for Boston in the previous Equalizer films. It appears that the Equalizer 3 will, at least in part, take place abroad. It also appears that Foucault is interested in making this third installment more personal for Denzel Washington's Robert McCall by delving into his enigmatic past. I'm your father, your mommy just didn't tell you. Let's go, Miles. Let's go, Miles. It might be a nice change of pace to make the third movie less formulaic than the first two. However, despite clear hints of trauma that still affects him, McCall is one of the last remaining action heroes without a sensitive backstory. Who Dakota Fanning will play in this is the other significant X factor in the situation. Many moviegoers have assumed from the beginning that Washington's McCall would be defending Fanning's character, giving us a delightful Man on Fire remake. It might be more entertaining to watch Fanning portray someone pursuing McCall as an adversary as opposed to an ally though, as she is much older now. Interestingly, there is a possibility that this will be Denzel Washington's final movie. The actor doesn't have any confirmed projects following his role in The Tragedy of Macbeth, for which he was nominated for an Oscar. He had previously discussed the possibility of retiring, noting that he had completed the majority of what he set out to do on screen. He even went so far as to say that it would need to be an extreme challenge for him to become interested in returning to acting after the tragedy of Macbeth, but it seems like The Equalizer 3 at least temporarily checks that box for the actor. We hope that this is clear and that you share our enthusiasm for what this movie has in store. It must professionally conclude the trilogy and be better than the first two films. We know that Washington is capable of pulling off these kinds of things and he won't let us down this time either. The conclusion of the second movie may not offer any new information about the third movie or any hints as to where the franchise will go next, but it's a sure sign of what the main themes of the third movie will ultimately be. For instance, finding a purpose to continue to be a recurring theme in the franchise, or should I say finding one if you're left in the dark and giving others a purpose when they have nothing, guiding them to become an even better version of themselves, something Robert managed to do for all of the victims that were cared for by his side. So smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. The main antagonist of Equalizer 2 is Pedro Pascal, and even though McCall kills Pascal's character at the end of the movie, the antagonist of the third installment is probably going to be an actor of a similar caliber. The options are limitless at this point, so we'll have to wait until the debut of the official trailer before learning more. See you in the next video.